the Pakistanis built the nu nuclear program. But who and built this ICBM, which is so advanced, the one they sent off yesterday, mm -hmm. it's almost inconceivable that they did it on their own without us knowing about it. It's so interesting, Katie, because what you're talking about are the markings that we have known for a while that are there from other right. countries. And we know this around the world that, that Russia has had its hands, its scientists' hands yeah. on, on other countries' weaponry. Yeah, a few things. The first thing is that the first priority of the president of the United States, no matter who it is, to protect the country. This is now a viable threat that the president is going to have to ask the question of himself and his administration, are we willing to live with this threat? And I think that the answer is absolutely not. Uh, I was actually just in China talking to Chinese and U.S. officials about the North Korean problem. And it seems like based on the gap between how China and the U.S. plan to handle North Korea mm -hmm. and the fact that China doesn't want to institute more economic sanctions on North Korea because they don't want to deal with the humanitarian fallout of what that would mean from the regime. And they also don't want the regime pointing their missiles at Chinese cities. War might be the only option at this point. It's not a good one. But again, the president has to decide if that threat is something that we are willing to live with. You and were I'm not. To talk